Hey everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, I wanted to show you a new addition. It's the Panasonic KX W60TH, which is almost identical to the Panasonic KX W50TH. Um, both of these machines right now are in terminal mode. One of them is hooked up to a terminal controller which is connected to a print server, which is then connected to a wireless gateway. So what's kind of exciting about that is here, I'm on a tablet in Dropbox, and I'm gonna move a file over there to Dropbox folder, and wirelessly printing to this typewriter. And as you can see, it just printed some type. So nothing new from this machine over to that. They're both capable of processing from uh, a, basically this uh, interface adapter up here. Very old technology uh, from the late 80s, uh, like 86 to 88, somewhere around that time frame. These two typewriters are very close together in terms of their capabilities. In fact, they share a lot of the same parts. What I think is different and interesting about this is that this has a 15 character display. This one has a 20 character display. Uh, this typewriter over here does something that I think is not very useful. It has a calculator on it, which I think is something that you probably shouldn't put on a typewriter. This one over here has the ability to print text. You can store text in the file uh, on this machine here and then later print it out. So if we take this out of terminal mode, we can print a file. So I'll just type in here YouTube. It's hard to see with that glare. Enter the width of the paper. And it'll print basically what I wrote here. So this is a test for YouTube. The KXW60TH can hold text in its memory. Very exciting. Um, you know, from the 1980s, this was probably uh, useful. That's about the only difference, uh, other than the fact that the screen is a little bit wider, and as you're typing, it shows you how many more characters you have to go until you get to the end of the line. So if I just type a couple characters here, you'll see that the counter starts to count down, which is a really neat feature. You know, you know how much further you have until you're at the end of the line. Both very similar typewriters. They have the same cartridges, the same connectors for the interface adapter, the same power sources, the same settings on the side here. In fact, I'm almost curious that this one, if it has almost the exact same features as the 6.0, but these features are hidden in here. That's something that was very common in the 1980s. Um, you know, I wonder if there's calculator features in here which are not enabled because these two buttons here allow you to enter text and print from text. So you could uh, go through and had about a 6,000 character limit. You could type in some information. Maybe you're somebody who's writing up a letter or a report. You could type it in here and then review and edit on the screen and then print out the final results at the end. Uh, the editing on here is difficult. It's not like a full screen. So I would not call this uh, the most ideal uh, typewriter or word processor, but it gets the job done. So there they are. They're both using thermal paper. I removed the cartridge except for the cover-up tape, which is still in here. Uh, this one here, 
Uh, last time it was used it was in 1994 for somebody's resume. I actually had the name of the guy that was typing on there who all the other information was in the cartridge and looked that person up online just out of curiosity. Same location where he was when he started writing his resume. So he has a professional job. It's interesting when you see the life of people who were on here before. This one over here, um, this was used in an environment in uh, like a contractor's environment. Somebody is doing construction work. So, and that one actually had some more use out of it more, maybe about 20 years ago. So interesting devices. They both are very capable. One thing that I would point out is that this is label paper, four by six label paper. It's nice to be able to put that in here and you know make shipping labels if you need it. Uh, here I've got EKG paper, that's thermal paper, that uh, works pretty well. And you can also use thermal fax paper in here. I do have the cartridges for printing on paper, but I really prefer not to use them because they're rare. This is what the cover looks like for the KXW60TH. It's identical for the KXW50TH. Uh, it's useful to cover up the typewriter when you're not using it. I'll show, I'll demonstrate it. Yeah, you just basically put it on top of here. It snaps into place and you're good to go. It protects the keyboard. Both of these printers, when I got them, or should say not printers, but typewriters, were missing the AC adapter. <clears throat> I got my own AC adapter, 7.5 volt, with a positive outside, which is kind of unusual. The difference between these is that after a little bit of time, another thing I'll point out, the model number will show up on here, and to get out of that, you have to hit the enter button. All the other keys won't have any function. So that's a way where it times out and locks. But this one, I've noticed that when it times out, none of the keys work at all. And the only way to get out of there is to shut this thing off and turn it back on. The other thing I noticed about this typewriter is it memorizes the settings. So when you shut off the typewriter, those settings are memorized. You can unplug it and plug it back in. And all the settings that you had in place before are still there. So it's on the 15 character per inch mode, one line, line by line. So it kept all the settings, which is quite interesting. So anyways, that's it. Those are the differences. Not many, but uh, two quite rare typewriters that I've been looking at and trying to uh, find more information about them for a couple of years. All right, thanks for watching.